in a world of Gary Lineker's Be Matt Letizier. Now, the difference between the two footballing-wise is that Gary Lineker was mediocre at best, but Matt Letizier, he was brilliant. He was the thinking man's footballer. He was very clever, and he really was a joy to watch back in the 90s in his heyday. But the difference between the two politically and socially is even wider. You see, Gary Lineker peddles the mainstream media narrative. He doesn't question anything. He just seems to accept everything that the establishment presents to him. And then he gives it to his followers on Twitter who lap it up en masse. I mean, if you question anything now, especially on social media, you are described or labelled as some conspiracy theory nutcase. Well, thanks to recent events, we all know, well, I know, that the difference between a conspiracy theory and the truth is literally just a matter of months. And no, before you say anything, I don't think the royal family are lizards and I don't think the earth is flat. But like Matt Letizier, I do believe that the mainstream media have lied to us even more so recently. So Matt Letizier is in trouble. He's had to step down from his position in uh, Southampton Football Club where he used to play because of a tweet, a tweet he shared that questions everything. Now, the tweet he shared was originally uh, written by UNN, Unity News Network. They used to be on YouTube, if I remember. I remember watching them and interacting with them in my early days on YouTube. And they were the same then as they are now. They question everything. And they do investigations and reporting. Isn't that what journalists, isn't that what the news should be doing? So anyway, the tweet they wrote was, the media lied about weapons of mass destruction, the media lied about the plague, the media lied about the Hunter Biden laptop, but honestly, they're telling the truth about Buka or Boucher, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, I haven't been watching the news regarding this, because personally, I think the news are lying <laughs> again. I don't trust them, I really don't trust anything they push out or peddle towards us. Now, who can argue about this tweet? What is incorrect about this tweet? The media did lie about the weapons of mass destruction. They weren't any. The UN inspectors didn't find any weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. The coalition forces didn't find any weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. The media did lie about the plague. They fibbed about everything about that from PPE equipment to people being admitted to places where they could be treated. And they also encouraged the complete cancel culture shutdown of anyone who, who questioned it. And there's lots to be questioned about the plague and everything to do with it. The media also lied about the Hunter Biden laptop. They completely brushed this story under the carpet during the 2020 election because, of course, they didn't want anything to hamper bungling Joe Biden's election win, <clears throat> inverted brackets, and they denied its existence. And anyone talking about it was a conspiracy theorist. Well, guess what? It turns out Hunter Biden's laptop story was true. Twitter itself even suspended an American newspaper's Twitter account to stop them talking about it for 20-odd days. And I haven't even mentioned Brexit, Trump, the Tories, Boris Johnson, the EU. So bearing all that in mind, do you believe the mainstream media when they report on something from now on? I know I don't. So quite frankly, if you think something dodgy is going on in the Ukraine and you don't think that the mainstream media are presenting the truth then you are completely wise to think so. They are quite literally the modern-day version of the boy who cried wolf. And it's not whether you agree or disagree with uh, Matt Letizier, uh, other people like him, people like us, who question the narrative, that matters. What matters is that people are no longer entitled to voice their own opinion, and people are having their lives ruined because of it. Matt Letizier just stood down from his job, and there are countless others. I even spoke last night with a budding new YouTuber who herself has been um, victimised by cancel culture at her workplace. You can see that link in the community section of my channel. So as celebrities often do, and, and this is where I think he went wrong here. He deleted that tweet afterwards. That's because Twitter was piling up on him. He had such vitriol and hatred directed towards him because he dared to think for himself and have his own opinion that it got to him and he deleted his tweet. But that's what celebrities do. And he replied to this by saying, deleted previous tweets as people, as usual, missing the point. The point was about the media manipulation, but you knew that really. And yeah, he's absolutely right. It is media manipulation. 
Now, I think ordinary Westerners going about their daily lives, people who engage and practice critical thinking, would be more likely to look upon the situation in Ukraine with less scepticism and cynicism if it wasn't for the mainstream media. They don't help. They really don't help. And all Matt Letizia did was share a tweet that said people should be questioning the mainstream media's narrative or whatever they present to us. He didn't advocate for war. He didn't revel in ordinary civilians in the Ukraine suffering because of what Putin has done. All he is telling you, all that he is presenting to you is that he thinks that the mainstream media are known to twist, invert and lie about almost everything they mention. But the Twitter pileup by the hysterical frothy mouth lefties, the bigots that infest that place, that place where common sense goes to die, must have been really bad because he tweeted, let me make something very clear. I do not advocate war in any way, shape or form. I do not advocate anyone taking lives of others and anyone who commits such acts should be dealt with accordingly. Any atrocities leave devastating effects on the families of the victims and us all. So there we go. He's not denying that the Ukraine have been invaded by Russia. He's not denying that what's going on over there is a fucking tragedy. But he is denying what the mainstream media are presenting to us about what's happening over there. And that's it. Everything and everyone should be questioned. From the mainstream media to scientists. Even experts can lie and get things wrong. But now is a time, is a dangerous time here in the world, especially in the West, where we're not allowed to question people on narratives. And that's very dangerous. And that's a very sinister route, a very dark road to go down. And that's where we're heading, folks. Because if we get our lives ruined simply for being inquisitive and asking questions and pointing things out, then George Orwell's 1984 is becoming nearer a reality. That's what I think. Anyway, please let me know what you think in the comments. And it would be great if you could pop over to my community section on my channel, have a look at the stream I did with the, uh, with the lovely Anna, and perhaps give her your subscription and support. Because she is another victim, yet another statistic, of woke cancel culture at her workplace. And God knows we need more voices like hers to speak out on social media platforms. And also, if you wish to support my channel, if you like what I do, if you believe in free speech, then by all means, you can buy me a beer. The link is down below. And that's that. So please comment, share, subscribe, all that lovely stuff. And until my next video, Roger Trout.